So welcome to Turkey. In this video, I'm gonna be talking uh, about being a man and what it is to really like being a man. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit to Anthony's video about being the chooser. And there should be a link in this video somewhere, but last uh, Friday, uh, we should have put out a video of Anthony be, uh, talking about what it is to truly be the chooser. It's a really good video. Check it out if you haven't checked out this one. And I wanted to add more to that. I wanted to say that to truly be the chooser, you gotta really like yourself. You gotta really love yourself. You gotta really like being a man. If you're here to learn to meet women and you're here to be really good with women, you gotta realize that you're a man and you gotta love it. You gotta not only love being a man, you gotta love yourself for who you are. Not just as a man, but as a person, as a human being to really go out and choose confident, solid, sexy women. Because women wanna be chosen, not uh, settled for. I mean, think about that for a minute. Would you want a woman to settle for you? No, you want a woman to choose you. You want a woman to say, you know what? I can get all these guys and I choose you. And women are the same way. When women meet you, they really want to feel like you, you're a sexy guy that can get all these women and you chose her. There's something special about her. There's something unique about her. She means a lot to you. And, uh, and, and she won you out of the crowd. And the truth is, is that's exactly what should happen. You should get to the point where you can date some really awesome women and you actually pick the girl you want to be with from the different women that you're dating. You say, you know what? I know exactly what I want in a woman. I know exactly what I want in my future. I know exactly what I want in a relationship. So this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Do you know who you are as a man, as a human being? Do you know what you want out of life? That can change. That's fine. But for now, you got to know who you are and know what you want and start moving in that direction. You see, when we first start dating, especially, if, I'm going to talk about me in general. When I first started dating, I, uh, I wasn't as picky in the beginning. I hadn't had a lot of dates and I just wanted to get dates. I wanted to go out and meet some beautiful women, amazing women, and I did just that. I went out and I met a lot of amazing women. And I noticed that as I got more confident, started to date more women, I built more of a sense of a belief in myself. And as I built that belief, I started to get pickier about the women I dated, but it moved in the direction of sexier. I wanted women to be really fucking sexy. That was the direction I went. And I realized later, after a while, that was really about validation. I wanted these women that were wild, that were naughty, that were gonna do crazy shit with me sexually. And that had a lot to do with my lack of sexual experience at the time and then wanting to make up for it. And so I continued down this path for a while. I explored it and it was a lot of fun. My life grew in a lot of ways, but then one night, I was sitting in my house and I didn't have a date that night. And I was at the point I was, I was really going out and meeting girls all the time. And I thought I wanted a girl over that night. And for whatever reason, I couldn't get a girl over that night. It was like last minute and I felt really lonely. And I felt like I needed that girl to plug a hole. And there was a part of me inside that said, wait a minute, something about this just isn't right. Because I would have settled for any woman, have her come over, have sex, have fool around, any halfway attractive woman. And I realized that, that as I was maturing, that I didn't want that anymore. And I wanted to be pickier. I, I, I also wanted to be able to be happy on my own, not with a woman around, not with not needing to have a woman to distract me from myself or distract me from how upset I am or how I didn't like myself. So I started to look at life a little differently. I started to change the way I looked at life. And what I did immediately after that, and I highly recommend this after you've dated a lot for, for some people that think you really need it. And I've done this for a few clients. I've had a few clients do this, is I stopped dating altogether. I took, a, I don't know, it was like three, four months, six months off. I think I started with three months and I kind of extended out beyond there. And I said, I'm gonna date myself. I'm gonna learn to really like myself and figure out what I like and what I want. and figure out who I am and uh, start learning to enjoy stuff for me. Because what I noticed was a lot of who I was being at the time was about being somebody that could pull these women in like, ah, oh, let me get a certain set of clothes because women will like it. Let me get a certain uh, set of jewelry because women will really love it. Or let me listen to a certain type of music. And I didn't realize I was kind of doing this unconsciously. I was working on being cool. This was many years ago. Being that cool guy, that sexy guy. And there's nothing wrong with feeling sexy or being sexy. But when you're doing it just to get validation, well, it's kind of fucked up in the end, right? After a while, you start to feel shitty about yourself. Because do you even know who you are, what you really like? So I started to go down this path of figuring out what I like, and I got a lot pickier when I date. I reached a point after I started to do this for a while that, that I started to date again, and 
I just wasn't interested in being out with women every night. Matter of fact, I was very comfortable being with me. And if the woman wasn't somebody that was really fucking interesting, sorry, I, I, my company's just as good or not better. And I got pickier and pickier and pickier. And so my life started to change in this way. And it was a really good change. I started to ask myself questions. What do I like? And you know, and, and I'm still today, we're constantly figuring out what we like. And I started to go to the gym and work out more and more and develop my body more and more. And as you guys can see, I'm, I'm lose, I've lost a lot of weight and I've changed a lot even recently. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'd like to work out. I, I love it more right now than I ever have before. Not because I need to impress a woman, but because I love, I love, like I love doing steady state cardio on the treadmill and doing all of my different type of embodiment walks. And I, I love going for long hikes and I love, uh, uh, lifting my weights with the X3 bar, which are particularly bands instead of weights. I prefer using bands with bars rather than weights. Maybe I'll do a little video on that someday. Um, I love uh, really low uh, style jogs and sprints, and I love uh, doing movement work on the ground, like animal flow work on occasion, and stretching and mobility work and embodiment work. Stuff makes me happy. I love my coffee. I love to have a little bit of coffee, and cheers, by the way sit down with a good book and just read and, and relax. And I love sitting down and meditating, just being with myself and meditating. I love my deep releasing. I also uh, love, there's certain music I love to listen to, especially some of my slow relaxing music. Then other times I've got the, a certain um, old 90s uh, um, new metal, I'll pop that on sometimes, or some kid rock and people are like, what the fuck are you listening to? And I'm like, I love it, man. And it's really for me. and. What I've noticed is as I start to get pickier and pickier about what I want and pickier and pickier about what I want, I start to get pickier and pickier about what I want in a woman. And I start to look around and say, what do I really want in a woman? And I want her to be fit. I want her to be athletic. I want her to be younger than me because I think I want a family. Or I might even want her to have kids, which is totally, a lot of guys would say, never date a woman with kids. What? Who cares if she's got a five-year-old and he's really cool and she's really cool and because if I want to be, experience being a dad to some boy, that would be fucking awesome, you know? But I also might want to have kids with her. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm also really fit, and the average woman my age uh, doesn't keep up with me. But I have dated some that can, that are super fit too, and they're fucking awesome too. So it's got to be one or the other. She's got to be really young mindset, or she's got to be really fit. Uh, she got to be fairly sexual and fairly experimental and a little crazy. I, I like a little bisexuality by, curio uh, by curious women, but I don't want it to go one of these nuts things where we got to do it all the time. Just something we play with. Um, there's so many things as you learn more about yourself that you'll start to put out there that uh, will be things that you know you make you the chooser. And as you figure that stuff out, you'll start to move in a more powerful direction when talking to women. You'll start to be more decisive and you won't put up with BS anymore and women will feel it. They'll feel it on you. They'll feel the, the bullshit meter that you have. And, and as you start to let go of women, and, and I always say this, you know, you're not really there until you end relationships with hot, sexy girls. Because the truth is, is you could have a hot, sexy girl that's just taking advantage of you. That's just manipulating. It's just using you. And so many guys don't want to let her go because she's hot and sexy. They're getting validation from her. And when you start letting those girls go and say, you know what? I can do better than this. That's when you're really starting to grow as a man. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't go through your chasing validation phase. If you need to do that for a bit, do it. I'm going to date strippers for a bit. I'm going to date this. But get past it. That's the goal is to let it go and move beyond it move to a point where you're getting pickier and pickier about what you want and what you put up with so that because so that you want to tell your subconscious mind that my time is valuable and i want to spend it with the most awesome women or woman and that's even better as you do this more and more you're going to move in the direction of finding an awesome woman you're not going to need to be out approaching all the time it's going to get easier and easier to meet women women are going to be drawn to you because you're being a man that's magnetic versus a man that's looking for validation. When you walk down the street, you might be the first one to reject a hot girl. Just look away like, a, you know, I, I don't know if I'm interested in you. And she'll feel it. She'll feel the difference on you. So in this video, to add to Anthony's video about being the chooser, I want you to figure out what you need to do to learn to love yourself as a man and as a human being. What do you like? What do you really like? So sit down and 
And for me, I had to take a deep look and I didn't like being a man. That's why I say that one over and over. And I think a lot of guys don't today with the climate and the way it is in society. Do you like being male? I had to really take a deep look at what it meant to be a male and really start working on loving myself as a male, saying I bring value as a male. There's a lot of great qualities I bring. And I think I'm damn awesome as a male. I don't need to go announce it to the world. I'm doing it for this video because that's the nature of the video. But for the most part, when you get the feeling, you won't need to tell the world. You won't need to go announce it to the world. You just feel it. You see all these people out there saying, oh, I'm good enough. I'm, I'm a powerful woman. I'm a powerful man. I'm, they're telling the whole world that. Well, they're telling the whole world that because they don't fully believe it inside yet. Once you believe it, you don't need to announce it to the world. You start to own it. So then once you start to feel powerful as a man, then start to be comfortable with, uh, the next one was becoming comfortable with a man as my sexuality. Like my, the fact that I have a cock, the fact that I have balls, that the fact that I love my cock and balls, that I love fucking, that I love bending women over and I like being dominant and I like submissive women that love being submissive with me, you know? Um, and then continuing on from there, you know, I had to look at even deeper at what do I want my future to be like as a man, you know? Where do I, I realized I wanted a house in the mountains, so I bought one, you know? And I want a woman that's going to love to hang out in that house in the mountains with me. Um, I also love beaches, so I want to get a, a place possibly in Sayulita, Mexico or up in Bali, and, and we'll go visit there sometimes, maybe travel around on a boat. I got, I got lots of plans and ideas. And if she's not excited about this stuff, then, uh, then she's probably not the girl for me. I also want a girl that can have deep conversations and deep discussions about life that is spiritual but also practical, that is realistic, that can ground herself out when I'm not around, and is also nurturing, really giving that loves being the feminine, that loves cooking. I don't, I, you know, I'm not a big cook. So when I date a girl that's a, huge, a big cook, I fucking love it. I, I appreciate her so much when she cooks and does all the uh, traditional stuff like clean, uh, helping to clean. I, I, there are certain things I like to clean, so. But I love it when women do that stuff. I super appreciate it. And um, if she's got a career, I want to support her in that career. But I want it to be something that also that she loves. Like, I don't want a woman to be settling in her life either. She's got to be picky in her life about what she wants. So if you start to figure this stuff out and you get really picky, then it's going to change your life in a radical way. So who are you as a man? Do you like being a man? Do you like being, are you comfortable with, with sex and sexuality? Do you know what you like with your sex? What do you like to do for yourself that's just for you? If there's no woman around, I'd still be happy. I'd still love doing it. Um... What are your, uh, uh, what do you want in a woman from there? And if you figure all this out, you get it all down on paper, you look at it, keep refining it week to week, month to month, you're going to become a 10 times more powerful chooser. So I'm going to invite you to do this exercise this week. Get it done. Work on it all week. Work on it for the next month, two months, three months. Get, you know, start becoming pickier about who you are. And um, I'll tell you what. Um, if you guys work on it this week, uh, I'll do some releasing around it next week. And we can do a video where we actually start to welcome and release on and visualize who you're being. And you can use that as a, as a powerful script or as a powerful process to help you move in the next direction. But what I want you to do this week is I want you to figure this stuff out on paper. And then next week we'll do the release. And then we'll sit down and I'll take you through a release to help you figure this stuff out. And if you could listen to it over and over, it's only gonna take you deeper and deeper through visualization, through letting go of uh, pent up emotions, stuff that's been holding you back. You're gonna get clearer and clearer on exactly who you wanna be as a man and women will feel it. So uh, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you like the idea of this video. You know, um, it's a simple idea and I wanna keep diving deeper into it because what this channel is really about is being a man that really loves himself. That loves being a man, loves himself, loves being the masculine, loves going out and, and has, you know, has even had, he's, in, he's even in love with the feminine parts of himself, which is just your ability to feel and have emotions, but loves being male and loves giving back to the world from that place. That draws women in versus chasing them for validation. I wanna get all of you guys past the point where you're constantly looking, just chasing women to get sex to get validated because the sex is no fun then anyways. The sex is the best when you don't need women to validate you, but you can still enjoy them. And understand the difference here. You can enjoy a woman validating you when you don't need validation. There's a big difference between needing her to validate you, not needing her to validate you, but, get, but still enjoying it when she does. 
And when you get validation from that place, from this place of, you know what, I don't need you, I choose you. And if you choose to validate me, that's awesome. If you don't, I'm still gonna love myself. That is when you're really gonna understand what it is to be a man. And that's when you're gonna really understand what great sex feels like. Because sex is gonna be so much better from that place. So if you're ready to become a powerful chooser, then I invite you to start this process now and then go back and after you've done it for a bit, watch Anthony's video again about being the chooser, having that chooser attitude when you talk to women. Watch them several times back and forth because I think these are videos that you can really grow with. And uh, this is part one where I kind of introduce the concept. And next week, we'll get into visualization and releasing, just as I promised. So with that said, make sure to like this video if you liked it. Make sure to put a comment in the video. I'd love to see your comments. Um, make sure to share the video. For any of you guys out there that you think really need to hear this, that would be awesome. Please share it. And remember, only the confident really live. Take care. Have a beautiful day.